now we have already studied about capacity management now now we are looking at incident management what do we understand by the term incident let me zoom in any event any event which ultimately disrupts the business which interrupts your business process which interrupts your business operation whether for short duration or whether for the long duration so whether it is for the whether the interruption is for short duration when i say short duration i am talking about few minutes whether it is for the short duration whether it is for the few minutes or whether it is for the long duration it is considered as what incident because that event that event see event can be what event can be anything it can be positive it can be negative event when we are talking about incident we are talking about negative event which which has interrupted which which has which has which which disrupts the business process which disrupts the business operations so we are talking about the negative event not the positive event and whether it it is affecting for the short duration or the long duration whether for few minutes or few hours or few days it is considered as what incident now we are not talking about impact now we are not talking about the severity of the incident we are not at all talking about that we are saying that in general when we talk about incident we are saying that any event any event which ultimately what disrupts the business operations or process is what it is considered as what it is considered as incident all right so now when we say incident when we say incident incident can be with respect to when we talk about the overall incident incidents can be with respect to the it components or incidents can be with respect to security incidents what do we mean now let's take a few examples example number 1 there is a laptop theft there is a laptop theft now laptop theft whether it will come under incident with respect to it component see what we are talking about we are saying that any of your it equipment any of your it equipment is not working or there is a downtime involved Uh, maybe your network uh, is down or your server is down your equipment is down it could be any issue but we are saying that your it i mean the incident is with respect to the it component we are saying that we don't have any security incidents there has not been any security attacks in our organization but but even after that we are what we are having some incident with with respect to the it components we are not having security incidents we are not having security attacks all right we are not having any kind of you know uh, security breach or, or violation we are saying that there is some kind of incident with respect to it component your it components are not working or the second case could be with respect to security incidents we are saying that there has been what any kind of malware or any kind of attack hacking you know so thing is that in case of uh, the, the 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 second part we are saying the incident is with respect to the security security concerns are there all right so till now what we have discussed we have discussed that when we say incident incident is what any event which ultimately disrupts the business process or operation it could be short term it could be for short term duration or for long term duration for long duration whether for few minutes or few hours or few days or few weeks all right everything would be considered as what incident now incident can be with respect to it components or security incidents now example laptop theft now now laptop theft can be uh, can 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 fall under both the things incident with respect to it component also or you can also say security incidents because because a laptop could be having what confidential information so it can come under both one or two network is down it will come under what one incident with respect to it component 
see that there is no hard and fast tool there can be a case that you know we are having incident with respect to it component and the reason was what some kind of malware or some kind of attack that can also be possible all right so basically anything can be possible but that is not our question we are saying that we are just generally classifying that incident can happen with respect to the it component or security incidents password stolen security incident server down now again it can be with respect to what it component or even with with respect to what security incidents because of any kind of you know attack or, or you know uh, ddos attack you, know, you can have what server down so the thing is that it can be because of any reason but it is what it is affecting our business it is it is basically our business activities are getting interrupted there is disruption with our business operation business process all right and that is why we are calling it as incident all right let's proceed ahead so when we talk about incident management when we talk about incident management basically we'll be talking about few things the first thing is that defining what constitutes an incident defining what exactly what exactly are the things which will constitute an incident so we have already discussed about it that you know whether uh, you know whether there is what disruption to business if there is disruption to business it is what incident but again you will also have to see the level of the impact the severity of the impact on our business all right so level of impact now there can be temporary interruption for few minutes it is also an incident but it is what not not so significant incident it is also an incident but it is not so significant incident now again temporary interruption for 8 to 10 hours oh my god 8 to 10 hours there was downtime now it is what it is a severe incident try to understand large organization large businesses they can't afford to go no they can't afford to have a downtime for 8 to 10 hours all right it is a temporary interruption only but the impact is what the impact is very severe severe impact all right so over here it is an incident but it is having what severe incident it is it is having severe impact all right and you know uh, if you remember in the past we have taken one example of this tokyo stock exchange where i have told you that dollar 6 trillion stock market came to a halt due to one piece of hardware this was the headlines of the next day of the, of the newspaper the, the the very next day after this incident occurred now try to understand you know they can't have this kind of downtime now it was for one day but understand one day for you one day could be nothing but you know you can't imagine how much you know how much it affected them all right so this will come under what high impact i mean severe incident all right and basically basically our basis of classification whether it is having got less impact or high impact severe impact what kind of impact our basis of classification is downtime with respect to downtime if your downtime is high more the downtime more would be the severity of the impact more will be the impact and when the when the you know when the incident is what very severe it means there would be what high loss so more the downtime more what severe incident and more will be the ultimate loss all right loss may be tangible intangible it could be anything but there would be what high level of losses all right anyways so let's proceed ahead so basically when we say focus of incident response the focus the incident response is just like your drp disaster recovery your business is running smoothly now there is what a sudden fall down now you are what you are recovering 
is what incident response incident occurred and you are responding to the incident all right so incident response always keep in your mind disaster recovery quickly the focus of the incident response is what quickly get back to regular working the main the the primary focus of the what incident response is to get back to the regular working is to resume the you know the business operation by providing what an alternate equipment so we have uh, discussed no there can be what incident with respect to it equipment or incident with with respect to security incidents so you can have what if it if it is with respect to the uh, it components you can what you can uh, you can uh, resolve it you can either resolve it or you can what you can just replace the what the hardware or the software whatever by providing what an alternate equipment all right or resolving the issues all right now let's look at one question now see why are we discussing about this thing because you know in the next topic we'll be discussing about problem management there i will link incident and problem management all right so till now we have not discussed about the problem management problem management is an extension of incident management all right we'll be discussing in the very next topic and when we say incident management everything you know all these things just wait a second yes so basically we have uh, the, the first thing we have defined the first thing is what we have defined what constitutes an incident after that an incident management will also be guiding us with respect to how to report security incidents by the users by the staff all right how to report where to report with whom to report who will be responsible for the corrective action how how to close this security how the final you know how how will the final closure will happen with respect to the security or the it incidents documentation proper documentation you know each and everything all these things will come under what incident management all right we we are we are defining first of all we are defining what exactly what constitutes an incident all right and i've told you it it depends upon what whether it will have disruption to our business and if if it does have disruption what is the level of the impact the level of the impact depends upon what downtime more the downtime more will be the impact more will be the what ultimate loss all right and then how to report security incidents where to report who will be responsible for the corrective action how to close the you know incidents documentation all these things would be included in the what incident management all right now let's look at one question the question says which of the following is the most important action in recovering what in recovering from a cyber attack option number a first of all cyber attack whether it is an incident i'm asking you all yes it is an incident all right because it will impact our what business operations so which of the following is the most important action in recovering from a cyber attack option number a creation of an incident response team option number a creation of an incident response team now a lot of people they do have they do have a habit of fast reading and they forget you know few words now if you read option number a some people will think that option number a is talking about incident response they'll say that the question is having the word most important action in recovering and the option is having the point what incident response so a should be the correct option this is what you know the people who have the habit of fast reading will think but to understand and read the word twice that's why i say you know try to have this habit of reading the question and the and the, and the options you know more than once if it is if it is required the option number a says that creation of an incident response team two words creation and team it is saying that see just now we have discussed what will come under incident management and i have told you that you know everything would be there how to report where to report who will be responsible b 
we are already having a team in the future if any of the incidents see till now incident has not occurred but we are getting ready no we can't have bcp or drp you know after the incident after you know any kind of disaster you know just just think about it we can't have a disaster recovery plan or team you know after a disaster obviously before the disaster before the incident we'll be planning for all, all the things all right before anything occurs we are planning for it we are taking the precautionary measure we, we have already created the team the team is already created all right so the thing is that option number a is saying option number a is saying that creation of an incident response team the question is which of the following is the most important action in recovering from a cyber attack cyber attack has already happened now how will you recover now after the incident will you will you sit and create the team or will you be having the team before obviously you will be having the team before you will inform them you will you'll report them that that can be the option but option number a is saying creation of the team obviously not so option number a will definitely not be the correct option option number b is what use of cyber forensic investigators option number c is what execution of a business continuity plan and option number d is what filling an insurance claim c no doubt b or d you know b c d everything you know everything will uh, will come after you know after an incident everything will come you will you will file an insurance claim if it, if it is required you may even go with the cyber forensic investigators you know everything will come but the question is saying that which is the most important action in recovering from a attack once an attack no has been done how will you recover first thing is what to recover so see option number c is what execution of a business continuity plan now they should have given drp disaster recovery execution of a drp disaster recovery plan but they have used the word business continuity plan but we have discussed that even the drp is a part of what bcp when drp is a part of what bcp no doubt i agree that they should have given the word disaster recovery but even the drp is what it's a part of bcp so you know in this question the correct option is option number c execution of a business continuity plan see no doubt filling an insurance claim or you know investigating you know all these things will come but it will not help us to recover try to understand that you know now let's say for example let's take an example of a bank now now can you imagine the impact the bank will be having if it is having a downtime of one or two days we can't even think about it just just think about it as an as an example you know what if tomorrow you get a news that for one or two days your your bank server is down you can't withdraw you can't a deposit you know you can't accept the payment you can you can you can't make the payment nothing will happen the bank server is totally down for two days a panic will create in the entire you know economy the thing is that there are few organization where downtime is not tolerable they can't have a downtime all right so what they are saying is that option number b is saying use of a cyber forensic investigator see investigations or filing an insurance claim all these things will come definitely i'm not saying that it won't come it will it will come but it will not help us to recover insurance will help us to you know it will help us for recovering with our losses but it will not help us in recovering with our what with business resumption all right so option number d and option number b will not be the correct option the correct option would be what option number c execution of a business continuity plan so that our business continues to give its services to give its activities all right 